Welcome to this episode of Click to Deploy, a series where we show you how easy it is to deploy solutions from the Google Cloud Marketplace. In this episode, we'll be reviewing how to set up a WordPress website via the Cloud Marketplace. In case you're unfamiliar, WordPress is a free open source content management system used to build custom websites. Let's start by searching for WordPress in the marketplace. Since WordPress is open source, you'll see that we have a few different deployment options from different vendors. Each deployment may be deployed with different operating systems, security patches, or server shapes. For this demo, we'll choose the Google Click to Deploy Virtual Machines option. The landing page will display information about the deployment, pricing, and support. The pricing information displays a high-level estimate of charges. Once deployment options are picked, we'll receive a more detailed breakdown. It's important to review the additional details to understand the technical details for the deployment. We can see that a single VM will be deployed on Compute Engine running the Debian OS at version 9.13. We can also see all of the packages that will be installed on the VM. Let's begin the launch. Let's pick a deployment name and zone. In this case, I'll go with the default zone, US East 4B. I'll also stick with the default machine type, which is an E2 small. The machine type chosen should correspond with how much traffic load you are expecting on your WordPress site. We'll choose an email address that we'll use for our PHP admin account. We'll also stick with all the default storage and networking options. Lastly, let's allow source traffic from the internet via both HTTP and HTTPS. Before you deploy, you can see your final estimate of charges for the specific options you choose to deploy. By clicking Details, you can see how these costs break down. We'll launch and give our deployment a minute to spin up. The next page will show us all the information about our specific deployment. Clicking the site address will display our default WordPress website. We're provided all of the admin connectivity and login information for both WordPress and MySQL. We're also given the ability to SSH directly into our WordPress server. You'll also see that we're given some suggested next steps like changing temporary passwords and assigning a static public IP address. Let's log in as the WordPress admin and change the password. There we go. After we change MySQL passwords, we're ready to start customizing our WordPress site and configure a domain. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the like button below. We encourage you to check out the GCP Marketplace and deploy this solution on your own. Thanks for watching.